In this one we're going to start figuring out our promotions filtering logic. And so it's really just going to be like a discovery phase. We're going to figure out uh, what dependencies we might need which we don't currently have. What do we currently have which might need changing. And what do we currently have which is going to help us achieve our goals. And so I've come up with a handful of steps uh, which should make it fairly simple to follow. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. And so what I've come up with so far is we're going to loop over the promotions and then we need to apply the promotions logic against the inquiry. And so I'm thinking these two steps are sort of related really we're going to need to check does the promotion apply so for example if you think about the one where we said for the black friday sale is the request date within the date range or if you think about the uh, the other scenario we came up with where we're looking at a voucher code does the voucher code uh, match what is actually found in the inquiry and then we need to if those uh, conditions evaluate to true then we need to apply the price modification logic and so I'm thinking those two steps can probably be related and I'm thinking we'll come up with some kind of modifier class which will actually perform that logic for us it'll check if it's uh, if it's valid if it's making a valid modification and then it'll actually perform the modification to come up with a modified price and so what I'm thinking of doing there is I want it to return a modified price and so what do I want to return a modified price and so I'm thinking of having like just a modifier class a price modifier class so price modifier modify and then it's going to need some pieces of information so this is all just rough at the moment just figuring stuff out so it's going to need a price definitely it's going to need a quantity and it will also need the promotion because if we remembered the promotion let's go over to our test then that is what contains the logic so we call it criteria and it, it also knows how much to uh, perform the adjustment by and so we will definitely need the promotion and then if you think about how these things are going to work uh, if we're looking at Black Friday sale, then we're going to need to know the request date. And then if we're looking at voucher codes, we're going to need to know the voucher code. So even though the price and the quantity can be found on the inquiry, I'm thinking still pass the inquiry in anyway, just for these edge cases where you might need to check a voucher code, you might need to check a request date. Then once all that logic has been performed, we're going to have a modified price. And so we need to check that modified price against the, the current lowest price. And if the modified price is lower than the current lowest price, then that's when we're going to uh, do these things here. We're going to set the new price, uh, set the discounted price and set the actual promotion name. And we'll also update the lowest price to what is now uh, the modified price. Let's think about the parts that we've just added there, which we don't currently have. So price modifier, I'm thinking of having a factory class, which will go and get the modifier based upon the detail that we have here. So the type, uh, the type value in the promotion. So for example, I'll have a fixed price voucher modifier class, which just handles uh, modifying prices for fixed price vouchers. Then we have price, I know I can get that off the inquiry, so that's quite easy. And the quantity can also come off the inquiry. So we'll go and get those things. Price equals inquiry. And the price actually comes off the product. So something which immediately springs to mind there is we're asking quite a lot of this apply method. We're saying that we're expecting whatever inquiry gets passed into this to have access to a product. And if you think about a promotion inquiry interface, it's really quite vanilla, isn't it? It's very abstract. So uh, early indication there that we're probably going to need to go for something a little bit more specific. We don't actually need any functionality so I'm not thinking abstract class I'm thinking maybe we're going to need to extend this 
with something a bit more specific to our needs. So maybe something like a price and query interface. And then our inquiry would implement that instead. But we'll not get too far ahead on that stuff. Don't think too far ahead. I'm still going to stay fairly abstract. I'm going to look at where I'm at after I've added all the other bits and then make the decision there. Because if I start making decisions early, then it will reduce my options, I think. So keep your options open. Uh, stay nice and abstract until you, be need, until you definitely know that you need to be more sp specific and you know more what the details of those specifics are. So let's just keep going for the time being and we can leave a few sins in there. What I want next is a quantity. So quantity equals inquiry get quantity. Again, exactly the same issue we have here. We're saying that we're expecting any inquiry which gets passed in here to have a quantity field. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need a starting lowest price. So for the first pass, we're going to need something which needs to be compared against it. What is going to be the starting lowest price? Well, it's actually going to be the quantity multiplied by the price. And then each time once the modified price is obtained, that is just checked against the current lowest price. And then again, if the modified price is then less than the lowest price, then the lowest price gets updated to the modified price. Okay, so what next? We actually have quite a heavy dependency here, don't we? Because in order for this to work, we are dependent on having uh, price modifiers and being able to actually uh, obtain those modifiers using a factory. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll actually go and create our price modifiers and test those first. So what we're looking at is this. We're going to need one for a date range multiplier, one for a fixed price voucher and one for an even items multiplier for things like buy one get one free, buy one get one half price, that kind of stuff. So we'll actually go and create those modifiers and test those and then we'll come back and figure out how we can fit them in and how to obtain them using a factory. So, in order to keep the wheels moving, in order to still be able to return a response, let's comment that line out because we don't have that dependency yet. And let's just go and run this, run our tests and see what's happening. So, vendor bin PHP unit tests unit lowest price filter test. Okay, and so it's saying... Error typed property, lowest price inquiry, product must not be accessed before initialization. Okay, so it's helping us uh, drive out our test dependencies still here. So what we actually need is we need to pass a product into our lowest price inquiry. So let's create a product. And of course we know that we're going to need a price for that. And so I think we'll set the price to 100 for uh, each product. And then what we're going to need is to set the product on the inquiry. So inquiry, set product, product. Let's go and run this again. Okay, and so now it's saying uh, typed property, lowest price inquiry, quantity must not be accessed before initialization. So inquiry, set quantity, we'll set the quantity to 5, and so thinking about this, 5 times 100 will be 500, and if we're applying a half price sale, the discounted price will now be 250. And so price, thinking about this, you'd think maybe we should set the price to 500, but really... Uh, initially, I wanted price to mean the price of an individual item, so we'll keep that how it is, even though it looks a bit strange that the discounted price is actually more than what the price is. Um, but let's not overthink that. We can leave things as they are. I think we might need to go and change our filter here. So we'll actually run the test first, and we should get a test failure now, I think. So I failed asserting that 50 is identical to 250, so we're not actually getting any errors saying that we don't have parts now this is actual 
a test failure. So all I need to do is set the discounted price to 250 and this should be a green, I think. Okay, so everything is still working. We're still returning the same or similar data from our lowest price filter. And we've also figured out the logic that we're gonna need in order for this to work. So we're in a good position. We can move on, figure out how we're gonna make our modifiers work and how we're gonna be able to obtain them within the filter. And then we should be able to put the final pieces together on this. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.